quickly brought some hair. Woo! My channel my name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video so as you guys can tell by the title today I'm going to spend the day glamming it up because I'm looking like a hot mess I was cleaning this morning I was getting things sorted I haven't washed my hair in days the regrowth is just like staring at us all because I haven't washed it I haven't even like done my face creams this morning I literally just put on sunscreen just to go for a walk so what we are going to do is we're gonna wash the hair we're gonna have a shower we're gonna feel good about ourselves we're gonna pop on some makeup we're going to do our hair I'm very excited about that so I got some hair extensions from this Goo Goo hair extensions how cute is this box I thought it was like a box of chocolates and I thought let's unbox it together because later on we're gonna pop them in our hair we're gonna do a little like hair glam as well so I'm really excited about that and oh look how pretty this is we have the little like hair extensions in the little satin bag it comes with that is so cool I really like this like a yeah, scrunchie it's like white with the little fluffs on the outside that's pretty oh we've got a clip that'll come in handy oh there's some lashes in here wow these are like va la voom we might put these on as well I will see how they work for me they look huge but if they work we will definitely try and use them in today's glam and there's a little like a little booklet on here Oh, with all the instructions and everything. We definitely need that. Google Hair Extensions did send these to me, so thank you guys so much. Let's have a look at the extensions. We'll just have a quick peek, and then we'll just talk about them later when we're popping them in the hair. Wow. They, they feel so soft, actually. And it says that they are human hair. And I have not bought hair extensions in, like, 10 years. So I'm really excited to actually have some new ones. All right, let's go have a shower. I'm going to wash this hair and dry it. And I'll catch up with you when we're doing our makeup glam. So the hair is dry, the skin is prepped. I'm now going to put on foundation. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And I'm just going to pop this on with a sponge. So I use my Juvia's Place Concealer. And now I'm going to use my Rimmel Kind and Free Powder to set the foundation and concealer. I'm going to go in with my NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna as well as a little bit of this Blushing Hearts Revolution bronzer as well. Because this one's got the trio in there, it has a little bit of a highlighter as well so I don't put on an extra highlighter on top. That is all that is left of my bronzer. Uh, I think it's time for a new one. And then again with the NARS bronzer, I do a little bit of a nose contour, like not a lot because I don't really know 100% what I'm doing but just like a little bit, just a couple lines there and a little bit on the bottom it's meant to make the nose a little bit more snatched and then I also do a lip contour which I use the bronzer again and then I literally just shade the bottom of the lip area because it's meant to make your lips pop out more one day I'll have enough money to get myself a little bit of lip filler just to like make myself look a little bit more confident and not have to do all these extra steps Next up I'm doing brows. I'm going to use the MCO Beauty Brow, the 2-in-1 Definer. When I tried this out, I really, really liked it, so I'm going to keep using it. The brows are done. For the eyes, I'm going to do like a soft glam. So I'm going to use my Dior palette. This is the Cool Neutrals. It's got some lovely, like, cool tone browns in there. And then I'll see how I'm feeling after I do that. I will then, I love glitter, so I might add glitter and I might just use this from the ColourPop Truly Madly Deeply palette. But I'll let you guys know if I decide to do that. But for now, I'm just thinking, like, something softish. Just before I start with the eyeshadow, I did just cut down the eyelashes. So that way they can accommodate my eyes because I might wear these. They're very va va voom. Um, and I don't want to draw attention away from everything else that's going to happen. But we will see. So let's do the eyeshadow and we'll come back to that. I had to open the door because Chippy wanted to come in. So I decided to just use the Dior palette and literally just used a base shade of just this one here in the corner and then this lovely one in the middle on top and it's just a nice simple like but smoky look actually I use this one too a little bit in the outer corners just to kind of give it a tiny bit of a smoky eye and for underneath 
And then I used my Flower Beauty blush. I just popped on a little bit of mascara, just my little Marc Jacobs on, because we are going to do the lashes. Now, they are strip lashes, which I'm still getting used to strip lashes. I find them a little bit harder than others. But you know what? We're going to give them a go. And the trick to strip lashes, from what I can see, is you just do the smallest amount of glue, because otherwise it takes forever to dry. Why are you not staying down? One lash on. I'm going to pop the other one on, and we will come back. The lashes are on. I'm getting used to them because they are like, whoa, in your face. But I feel like with a bit of lip, they'll go well. I'm just going to do a soft pink look because I love wearing pink when I'm doing cool tones. So I'm just using my Flower Beauty Nude Lip Liner. My favourite pink lipstick, the Clinique Fab Pop. Set it with setting spray. And the face is good to go. Let's go do the hair. Time for the hair portion. So I took out the extensions from that little white bag. They feel so soft. Like they literally feel like real hair. Well, they are real hair, but like just so soft. You know, like when you see somebody on, I don't know, like on Instagram or something and they swing their hair and it just looks juicy and silky. This is exactly what I imagine their hair would feel like. And it just feels so good. And because I saw that they just felt so good like this, I'm going to just wear them straight. That's why I've straightened my hair because I have not worn my hair like nice and straight in so long, especially because of the regrowth. I've been mainly just leaving it like as is and it just looks like a hot mess. And I want to do like nice silky straight hair because oh, I just, they honestly feel so, so good. Actually, let me share with you guys what I got. These ones are the Go Go Seamless Hair Extensions. And they're seamless because that top bit, if you guys can see that top bit has nothing. There are the ones that have seams have a little bit of like a lump on the top. And I feel like they sometimes might stand out a little bit more in your hair. So therefore I went for the seamless ones. They have these little like clips on the back as do the clipping hair extensions. So I've tried clipping ones before so I know what to do, which I'm glad about. These ones that I got are the 20 inch because I wanted them to be nice and long. And the color that I have is Dirty Blonde Highlights. Now I will pop all everything in the description box below if you're interested. I'll also pop their like IG on here and I'll pop all the details down below if you're interested to get like something like this or just even have a look at their website and see what they have. I actually also do have a discount code for you guys. It is star 10 if you're interested if you do want to pick up something like this. So there's no harm in having a look on the website. Now let's get started with popping these in. The easiest way that I do this is I actually just pop them over my railing on top of my towel here so then they stay nice. Otherwise, if I'm going to curl them, I actually just pop them on like a coat hanger clippy and then I hang them onto like the back of the door and then I curl them like that. So I will start off with doing the back ones first. Can't get over how like shiny they are. So I have one four and two threes. So the four I'm going to do on the very bottom. First I will clip sections. I usually just use my fingers and guesstimate because even with a brush I won't be able to see. So the first one I like to do really down the bottom you guys are going to be seeing a lot of regrowth in this, so please ignore that. I just feel like it'll still work anyways. But I'm going to do it right down the bottom, so I'm going to use the little clippy they gave me just to clip the rest of my hair out of the way. And you're trying to do as much of a straight line as possible. If you have one of these brushes, use them as well just to get an even line if you want. I'm grabbing the one with the four clips, and it comes with the clips closed, and I'm just going to open each clipper so it's ready to go. And then... I just pop it in the back of my hair here and I literally, I, I start with the inner bit and I push it down and clip it in and then I move it to the outer section and same thing, push it down a little bit, clip it in. One layer down, now let's do the next one. Then what we do is we undo that and we find a new layer. You look at it just rawly, that's what the first layer looks like. Next layer. Clip up some hair. And I've got my next one that's three clips. Open the clips. And I'm hoping that I feel like I don't think I did that well. And when you part your hair, you've got to try and make it even so therefore the hair extensions can stay evenly. And a lot of the times, because we can't really see the back of our head, it might not be, but it should still work. I'm not a professional, but I'm giving you guys what us regular folk would do. Same thing here. Pop it in. Middle first, then the sides. 
Next layer, you don't want it too close to the top of your head because you do need the hair on your head to cover the extensions. The next three. And your own hair should be blending in. Wow. Now next up, I'm going to do, these ones have the two clips. I'm going to do these more towards like the side, but the back kind of side because I want a little bit more volume there. So I'm just gonna section off some hair there. And this works because the other ones had the three clips and didn't come all the way around. Clip some hair out of the way, and then you clip those in too. And as you guys can see, like if you look at it like this, it's like a big no, but when you undo the clip, it covers it and it looks great. This is my first time trying this. And it's always hard to do it on the camera because I'm not really looking in the mirror and concentrating. Got another piece with the two clips. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Goo Goo Hair is dedicated to the development of high quality hair extensions. Done the section. I need the mirror. <laughs> and then we cover that. And then I have left these two little like ones. Oops, I've kind of messed them up a little but the two ones are just gonna go like at the front there so I'll just part the hair here and pop it in same as the other side clip section and pop in and it is all in guys how freaking good does my hair look I don't care what anyone says but when you have great hair you feel so freaking good I honestly just feel like I just want to keep touching and I take photos and I absolutely love it like I don't know I let me show you guys the back there's the back look how long it is it goes to my waist like wow I just can't I just can't keep look I can't stop looking at them I just I absolutely love them okay we are now going to pop on an outfit and do a whole glamour outfit so therefore we're gonna go from like drab this morning to fab now and we are all glammed have the outfit on the hair looks amazing. I just feel like it even elevates the whole look nice and straight and long. I've actually, you know, popped on the bright necklace and sparkly shoes. And uh, if only I had somewhere to go, I'll be ready to go. I feel like this is such a glamorous look. Actually, it makes me feel so good. So I'm also going to take a few Instagram pics because we can't let this go to waste. I literally feel so glamorous. You guys will be catching these in quite a few videos because I love the look of them. Okay, I'm going to stop touching them. But I love the look of them. They're so pretty. And that is the end of today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed glamming up with me. I feel like it's such a fun thing to do. I do like do makeup, you know, on filming days. But I don't get like all done out. A lot of the time my hair just is however it is. It is how it is. So I don't usually spend so much time on it. And this was really fun just to like not only do my face to just do the hair put a nice outfit on and just like now take a few pics because you know everyone's gonna need to see this if you're a newcomer to my video and you like videos like this and vlogs and fashion and all sorts of things please feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video as well please feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you guys have been kind enough to stay to the end pop a flower emoji down below so i know that you guys are the ones that watch the whole video through and Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And thanks again to the Goo Goo extensions because, like, you just really made me feel pretty today. And I will see you all guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.